Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. And today, a pencil review. The Musgrave Pencil Company News Pencil, number 600. And uh, this is a pencil I've had for a while, and I've, um, I've got a few of them, and I have had some requests to take a closer look at them. And so this is another example of a pencil coming from the Musgrave Pencil Company in Shelbyville, Tennessee. Uh, they've been making pencils for over a hundred years and this is one example. And the news pencil, uh, as Musgrave describes it, uh, is uh, intended and as a perfect instrument to mark up newspaper, um, perhaps, uh, you know, circling things. Uh, boy, they don't have classified ads like they used to. That used to be a big deal, but um, certainly puzzles uh, and such in a newspaper. And uh, also this pencil, uh, some people like to use it actually for drawing and sketching. Uh, and Musgrave says that some musicians like this pencil for marking up sheet music. I can see that. So uh, there's a few unique features about this pencil. Uh, one is it is a round barreled pencil. So uh, for those of you who maybe are like, oh, sometimes those, those Musgrave pencils have such sharp corners. Well, no corners on this one, folks. It is a round barreled pencil, okay? Uh, it comes eraserless. Uh, there's no tip, there's no eraser, nothing on this pencil. And it also features, perhaps you can tell, a slightly oversized core. Uh, that is fairly soft. They don't rate the core of this pencil anywhere on it. It doesn't say it's a number one, whatever. Uh, we'll write with it and see what we think. It's certainly softer than a number two, uh, but uh, uh, where it falls, it may be a B or a one, uh, something in that that neighborhood, but it is a larger core than you would have, say, on a standard pencil, uh, for sure. So, anyways, we're going to sharpen this and we're going to write with the Musgrave News 600 pencil. So we've got our Musgrave News pencil sharpened up. Uh, again, it, the, the, while the core is larger than uh, standard, the barrel is standard sized, so uh, it'll fit into any, uh, you know, pencil sharpener, manual, electric, uh, whatever. Um, it, no no, no uh, issue with getting it sharpened. So uh, it's a round pencil. And if uh, you find round pencils fairly comfortable, uh, I do, then, you know, it's a, it's a lightweight uh, pencil. Don't believe it's cedar, certainly doesn't smell cedarish. So I'm not sure what wood they use for this particular pencil, uh, but uh, the core is fairly centered. And, um, you know, it has a really a jet black paint job with that big, big white imprint. Look at the size of that. So that's what we got here. So let's just see. Oh my goodness gravy. Butter on the paper. One line, the point's already blunted a little bit. That's how soft this thing is. If you like a soft core, look at that line. Mm. 
Mm-mm-mm. Uh, it's really even hard to hear the pencil right on the paper as the core drags across and gets pushed and pulled across the surface of the paper. Uh, the, because of the softness of the core, it really just glides on. I mean, it's like a rollerball pencil. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, it's really is a, it just glides on. Uh, there's very, very little friction taking place between the, the texture, the surface texture of the paper and the actual point uh, of the core. That said, when writing, uh, as we do uh, normally, I think most of us, we have a slight but constant rotation of the pencil uh, because as we press down, we do end up wearing the core at an angle. And so to keep the point sort of circulating around the core, we rotate the pencil. You need to do that more frequently with this one. Mm-hmm. But boy, oh boy, oh boy, is this a, well, goes without saying it's stark. It's smooth. And I mean, it's, the butter is just melting on the page. Uh, it's relatively wide lined. Um, you know, this is a pencil you have to be careful uh, because in it will, because of the wider and softer core, it's going to uh, close some loops that maybe you don't want closed. Okay, so you need to really watch your E's uh, and things like that. Okay, watch your A's, watch your O's. Uh, places where you have uh, openings you want to make sure that they stay open because this wide and soft core will close them but it is um, light as a feather really I don't want to say effortless but it, it it's a very, it is a very easy pencil to write with. All right. Let's put a little down here. Well, we're not surprised, are we? that we have a big old smudge and I even have a, a, a blot on my finger from it. Okay, that was to be expected uh, with any pencil whose core is this soft. Um, but to err is human, to forgive divine. So let's see how forgiving this is. Uh, we'll start with our Mars here. You know, generally softer core pencils can be uh, problematic to erase. I can see why, let me zoom in a little bit so we can see what's going on. Um, I can see why people would want to sketch with this pencil. Totally get that. And mark things up with it because you can certainly bring attention to, um, to things with a line this bold. Okay, there's the Mars, which is an excellent eraser generally. I mean, it really doesn't, I, I think it's one of the better block erasers probably out there. Um, but here, there's a, still a little shadowing left behind. Let's try the 
Pentel. Another, you know, pretty decent eraser. Okay. I think that did marginally better, actually, here. Um, all right, let's try our good old pinky here. Pink Pearl. Mm-hmm. Try an art gum. Okay. Um, well, Hartmuth Kohinoor Natural Rubber. Mm -hmm. uh, where's our Milan? It's a synthetic rubber eraser. Okay. Uh, how about our mini softy? Well, still a lot of shadowing there. Um, but again, we know that going in when we are working with a pencil like this. So let's It's not that it can't be erased, it really can't be erased super cleanly, and we'll give it a C plus. Um, but don't let that deter you. You just don't make any mistakes, that's all. Uh, don't let it deter you from using this pencil, because it really is, uh, uh, if you, again, if you are someone who is partial to a soft core, uh, this is okay. And I put a, another point on there because the other one was totally down. That point's going to break, I can tell you that right now, uh, quickly. But let's try some writing. Let's see what we think. Remember that nice short point I put on there? One, two, three lines ago? Yeah, it's pretty much gone. I do press hard, harder probably than average, but even, even so. Whoop, I forgot five, didn't I? Sorry about that. Look at that. What a line. Look how dark that is. Well, uh, again, it's an easy writing pencil. It really is. Uh, and that has a lot to do with that 
uh, softness of the core. Well, give it another little couple little turns here. In the old sharpener. Okay, well, here is the Musgrave uh, News Pencil. Doesn't erase great, it smudges, uh, but it also leaves a beautiful, dark, thick, bold line on the page. Uh, which is its intent. Um, American made in Tennessee and uh, a fun and enjoyable and comfortable pencil to write with. So thank you uh, for spending time with me on Always Analog. If you like what I do here please like, share, subscribe and as always I look forward to seeing you again real soon right back here on Always Analog.